Hi everyone, how y'all doing? Welcome back, Water Signs, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. This is going to be your next 48, okay? Welcome back to Yansa's Universe. It's me, Yansa. Thank you so much to all of my existing viewers and subscribers. Thank you all for your love. It really helps me be here as often as I am. So I really want to thank you. I really want to take the time out to thank you, existing viewers and subscribers. Welcome new viewers and subscribers to Yansa's Universe. This is your general love reading for October. I'm sorry. This is your next 48 online. It's the next 48 for the water signs. I'm going to do a collective reading for you all in the beginning, then break off into each water sign. We'll have their own individual reading, and then stay tuned to the end. All right. Follow me on all my social media. Like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment. Book a personal reading with me. Donate to the channel. Purchase any of my spiritual bath bundles or oils. Ancestors and guides of love, light, health, and wealth so take me as I go within the tarot. Keep me safe. Show me clear on this message is for the water signs. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. This is for October. This is your next 48, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm, I have a lot on my mind. I have so much on my mind. I can't think straight. Okay. Escapist. Come home to yourself, water signs. All right. Give me one message for the water signs. So don't forget to come home to yourself. Take time out to yourself. Remember you. Give me a message for the water signs. Thank you. So we have number six, dragons. Slay them all. All of them. Slay them all. Don't leave any unslayed. Slay all of your dragons. Okay? What? These damn ads, boy. I <laughs> don't fucking know. Okay, slay all these damn dragons. When the heart is involved, people don't always have the best intentions. Okay, remember that. When the heart is involved, remember, people don't have the best intentions. They will pretend they're good for you, only for you to find out they're toxic or even abusive. The time has come to face your dragons and you must slay them before they slay you. Of course, don't literally slay them, but make sure you know you make sure you know what you will and won't stand for. And make sure they know you won't stand for their mistreatment. So make sure these motherfuckers know you're not you're not standing for it. Okay? People if people pretending to be something they not, you're not standing for it. When the heart is involved, people don't always have their best intentions. People don't always have the best intentions. They pretend. And you can tell. Your intuition can tell. If you love yourself, you can tell what intentions people have for you. You get that little feeling. Okay, people may turn out to be toxic or even abusive. It's time for you to face these. Don't let it go. Don't let them keep sliding. Okay, I'm going to let it slide. I'm going to let it slide. Uh, it didn't offend me as much as it did. Or trying to look at it from a different situation. Scorpios always do that. Scorpios look at things from a different situation and let shit slide. Like, And then Scorpio will be petty about it too, though. I'm just saying. That's okay, water signs. So let's see what is up for your next 48. Scorpio, y'all kept coming up in the air signs video. Water signs was connected to, who was it? Libra. It was Libra and Capricorn. Water signs. Okay. I didn't know my only future was up in here. That's my homie. Even though he ain't shit, boy. I love me some future. I can't I can't determine his future ain't shit or not. I don't know the man like that. But, hey. I'm just talking. Alright, we start with Scorpio, of course. What's going on for the next 48 for Scorpio? Scorpio, Scorpio. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, put the rose in reverse in their general. Y'all know what to do. trust this situation is calling for you to have faith scorpio check out that bonus reading i did for you scorpio and you water signs check that reading out for scorpio as well because i pulled a collective message for all the water signs but scorpio there's a tarot reading a bonus tarot reading in there for you give me a message for scorpio what's going on in the next 48 for scorpio 
Let your friends help you and religious factors with flirt, okay? Let your friends help you. You want to get out there, but you may be going about it a little weird, okay? So let your friends help you. Maybe you got some new belief systems like, okay, I've been through it. This is how I'm going to do it from now on. And they're just, your friends are just like, Scorpio, no. Like, <laughs> Scorpio, no. No. So your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So what spiritual path are you on? Make sure you know that. Okay. And ask for and accept support from others. Even if it's not your friends, coworkers, acquaintances, get some help. But remember, let your intuition guide you because we had slay your dragon. So maybe you may need some help slaying these dragons. You may need to talk to your friends. Friends, Okay, what are some things that, about me that you, I might need to change? And they may say, Scorpio, you need to stick up for yourself the first time and not let it slide. Or they may say, Scorpio, you need to not spend so much money. Whatever it is, okay? Okay. All right. Give me some messages for Scorpio. Please check out that bonus reading, Scorpio. It really, it, it will really help you. Especially if it resonates because... Got some really good messages. Give me some more messages for Scorpio, please. Why is my phone finna die when it's plugged up on the charger? Y'all don't understand how annoying this be sometimes. I'm trying to get this stuff done. And it's like, technology, just work with me. Just work with me. Damn. We got the four swords coming out. You're resting, rejuvenating, thinking about something. I see that, Scorpio, there's something that you may be taking to heart. There's, yeah, it could be something with a Leo or someone who's held back from you. Or you're holding back from them. You took something to heart. Could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. And you might need some help. Whether someone did something, whether there's a situation or a person or your job or your money or, you know, this religious, these religious factors, your, um, how your life is influenced by this. You're taking something to heart. Ace of Cups. Oh. Okay. Ace of Cups. You got new love coming in. But damn it, why you so why you so like hostile about it? Okay? Clarify this Ace of Cups, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio energy. Clarify the Ace of Cups for Scorpio. You took to heart something, and here it is. You took something to heart, the Ace of Cups, the heart, the love. Okay? Clarify the Ace of Cups. So many scents don't know want to come out. I'm gonna do this like this. Two came out. We have the lovers and the king of cups. Ace of cups, king of cups, and the lovers. So what we got going on, Scorpio? You in love with somebody? It could be a Gemini. Someone is in love with you, okay? But you need some help with the star card. You need some help. It could be an Aquarius. And here's your card right here with the nine, um, the nine. Here's your card right here with the death card. And then we do have the nine of cups and then the four. Hold on, because it looked like y'all done got married out of nowhere. What the hell? Y'all done went out and eloped with somebody. Scorpio said, I don't give a damn how it happens. I'm getting married. I'm getting my husband. I'm getting my wife. You probably even changed your religion. Yep, I'm Muslim now. Yes. Oh, I'm in. I, I got my man. He may be a polygamist, but I got him. Okay. Fuck you mean. He taking care of me or she taking care of me. You got the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles, though. Let me stop fucking around because I, I just be joking with y'all. So you did take something to heart, though. Someone wants you to move in with them with the four of wands, this Aries Leo or Sag. Someone wants you to move in with them. And you're just like, I don't know. That might be against my religion to move in with you and we not married. So this person is like, okay, let's get married. 
Or maybe you said, I'm not going to be shacking up with you and we're not together or some shit like that. Because the Nine of Cups is, this is your own independence, like your own emotional independence. But some some outer source or some external person makes you really happy. This Gemini or this Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Or you make them happy. So you could have got a new job or got a raise as well. Because something changed in your life with the death card. Your card came out. It could be a Capricorn. I see the devil card. What's going on for Scorpio in the next 48, please? We got the three of swords coming out with the devil card again. Someone broke your heart or someone said something you did not like. Or you have to say something that someone else is not going to like with this eight of wands and the ace of swords. It's all about communication. And the princess of wands It's the Sagittarius, Libra, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus who is going to say something that you do not like. Or you're going to say something to one of these signs and they're not going to like it. It's going to break their heart. You're going to say something mean like out of spite. What's Scorpio saying or what is this person saying? Five of Wands. Just a bunch of mean ass shit. Y'all getting... That's the argument. Or you're going to say like... Some shit like that's why your hair ugly. You're going to say something. Or somebody's going to say something like that to you. What's they saying? What they going to... Somebody's just going to... Somebody might whisper something in your ear. A lie. They're going to whisper... Yeah, a lie. The Ten of Wands and the five, because I see these snakes. These snakes, is, it's a lie. It's not the truth. Remember that card I pulled for y'all? It said Slayer Dragons, right? So if someone, so if you found out the truth about someone, it may break your heart, or someone found out the truth about you. You could have been trying to get back at someone, or someone was trying to get back at you. Are you asking your friends to help you get back at this person? Give me one last card for Scorpio. The Queen of Swords again. The Queen of Swords keeps coming out. You're saying something to someone. Someone is saying something to you. And you're going to make a decision in the next 48 hours. Your decision is based off of whatever you say or whatever they say. Let your friends help you. Just let your friends help you. Okay, I'm going to pull some messages between uh, what people want from you or what you may want from people, what people like about you, what you may like about people, how people want you or how you want people, okay, for Scorpio. Rough sex. They want rough sex from you, Scorpio. You want rough, rough sex from them, from a Sagittarius. You could be Sagittarius. Scorpio cuss. I'm sorry, Scorpio Sagittarius cuss. I talked to my family about you. I talked to my family about us. I hate when you leave. Someone hates when you leave. You hate when they leave. You talk to your family about them. They talk to their family about you. Someone wants you to wet their beard. You want them to wet your beard. Okay? That's all I have for you, Scorpio. I'm moving on. Okay. Let's do Pisces. What's going on for Pisces in the next 48? For their next 48. Pisces, jump to the beginning if you didn't watch the collective read. It says, slay your dragons. Don't let people get away with doing shit to you. Okay? Slay all of those dragons. All right, Pisces, I saw reconciliation. What y'all got going on? What's going on for Pisces, please? Healing family issues. So you could be reconciling with your mom, dad, grandma, auntie, uncle, uh, family, brother, sister, cousin, who have friends, okay? Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So whatever you saw your parents doing, whatever you learned from your parents, you're forgiving them and healing from that. And when you forgive and heal from that, your true love comes in. And it's the romance of a lifetime. Yes, it is. And it's going to be safe for you to love. So after you heal, you're going to feel a lot more safe and you're going to be able to receive this true love. So make sure you slay all those dragons and get that healing you need. All right. 
Scorpio found out the truth about someone or someone found out the truth about Scorpio. Let's see what you got going on. See, you got true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Show me what's going on for Pisces. We got the moon coming out. Cancer energy, Cancer Pisces energy. I read this as Cancer though. You feeling some type of way about something. Someone is feeling some type of way. You or your person, you or your brother or sister. Someone is feeling some type of way about something. Moody, agitated, anxious, secrets, illumination. The nine of cups feeling good, but someone is drinking, overindulging under the moon with these cups. Someone's drinking and they, they driving themselves sick watching you. They driving themselves sick with whatever information they find. Someone is telling them something. Someone is whispering in their ear. So uh, the message I'm getting for all the water signs collectively is there's, so, there's a snake whispering in your ear these these little white lies to get you to overthink if it's not them doing it to you you're doing it to them the ace of cups some what the fuck you got the ace of cups too scorpio got the ace of cups and the nine of cups so the secret is you found your true love did you go elope with someone too all the water signs are sneaking off and eloping what's going on with scorpio for their next 48 invite me to the wedding the real wedding because y'all y'all going to vegas and getting married someone is a liar someone's a liar this king of wands and the seven of swords someone's a liar all they want is passion all they care about is their satisfaction you see these fox on his back and then he got his fingers crossed i told you there's someone whispering shit in your ear to tell you what you want to hear, but it's not the truth. Even if it's a little white lie, if they don't feel the same way, they shouldn't make you feel a certain way that they don't even feel. With this Ace of Cups, clarify the Ace of Cups for Pisces. This would be what you're doing. The Empress. It's a Libra or a Taurus that you've fallen in love with or an Empress. You could be trying to get back with your baby mom or your baby dad. Clarify the Seven of Swords and the King of Wands. Eight of Swords. Somebody's tell, telling you something that gets you stuck in your head. Like I said with the Five of Wands. Or you're doing this to them. Eight of Wands. Stuck in your head. Someone is trying to stop you from doing something. I don't know what. Maybe someone is telling you, don't fuck with them. Fuck with me. Or some shit. Don't fuck with them. They don't have your best interest at heart. Someone is telling you, no, you can't be happy. No, this is not your true love. And it could even be yourself. It could be yourself. It could be your ego. Pisces. You have the Ace of Cups, Nine of Cups, and the Empress. With this moon card, you could be seeing... You could not be seeing things clearly right now with the moon. You could not be seeing things clearly right now with the eight of swords. You could not be seeing things clearly right now with the seven of swords. You could not be seeing things clearly right now with this five of wands. So what I'm seeing is you are not seeing something clearly. And it could be because of whoever is whispering in your ear or it's doubt. Your own self-doubt. You're, you're talking bad about yourself. Why? Why? During this time, you're feeling pretty moody. Feeling a little strange. I feel funny. The devil card. It's lies. It's a lie. It's a lie. Whoever this Capricorn is or this, it could be a Scorpio, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sag, Cancer, Libra, Taurus. Whoever this is, is a liar. The devil is a lie. This is fear, anxiety, depression, lies, deceit, not seeing things clearly. I'm just, the message that I'm getting is don't jeopardize your happiness. 
That's all I can tell you for the next 48. Don't jeopardize your happiness. Don't jeopardize your happiness for uh, quick sex. Don't jeopardize your happiness for doing something that you don't even really want to do. Don't jeopardize your happiness for going back on your word. If you said you was going to do it, then do it. If you said you wasn't going to do it, then don't do it. Don't jeopardize your happiness for some lies that somebody is whispering to you. It says true love. This is a romance of a lifetime. So what do people want from you? That's what she fucking looked like? I didn't know that's what her looked like. It could, you could be dealing with a Leo or a Taurus. So it's too many people in your ear. <clears throat> Leo or Taurus, someone rising Venus. What do people want from you? So you could want a Leo, you could want a Taurus. A Leo could want you, a Taurus could want you. What do people want from Pisces? What does Pisces want from people? She don't look like that no more. I don't know what the hell. Super head, they want some super head from you. You want some super head from someone. You make me feel so sexy. Okay, so you make them feel sexy, they make you feel sexy. They want you to squirt. They say, can I make you squirt? You want them to squirt? You want to make them squirt? You're uncircumcised or they're uncircumcised? I come fast when you choke me is what you want. I confess when you choke me is what they want. I love the faces you make in the mirror. Having some mirror sex. Sex is always on my mind. Sex is always on their mind. I talk to my friends about you. I talk to my friends about us. Pretty pussy. You got a pretty pussy. They got a pretty pussy. You trying to see. They trying to see. I dream about you. Yep. Yes. 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 Finger me while you eat it. Yep. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Bye, Pisces. I'm moving on to Cancer. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What's going on for the next 48 for Cancer? Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Flip the roles, reverse them. It's general. Check the beginning collective messages. And stay tuned to the end because I'm going to pull the affirmation for all y'all ass. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Flirt. Okay, I'm a flirt. Soon as you see me. Okay, you could have watched the Pisces reading because you came out in Pisces reading as well. What's going on for Cancer? What's going on for Cancer? Cancer, next 48. Cancer. Separation. What the hell? Let your friends help. You need some help too. Pisces and Cancer need help. Ask for and accept help from others because you're going through a separation right now, Cancer. Okay, you could be separating from a Virgo. Y'all business is out there. I'm sorry. I read tarot. Y'all business is out there. Everybody's got some stuff going on. Check the uh, Virgo reading because they were sad going through separation too. Okay. Um, Cancer, check the beginning because I pulled a card for all of y'all that says slay all your dragons. So this separation, time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So you may need some help during this time. You may be a little sad, a little moody. Ask for and accept help from others, okay? Even if it's money, you may need some money or a little pick-me-up. You may be like, Mom, I just need you to just take me out on a date. I just want to feel loved right now. I ask my mom to do it all the time. Um, I love my mom. My mom, but usually it always ends up as I drive to my mom's house. I end up driving her car and we go out to eat. I end up paying and she's the only one who feels loved at the end. <laughs> she's the only one who feels loved at the end. Okay, moving forward. Okay, that could be why you separated from a person. Like, damn, I just wanted to feel loved and I ended up loving on you and I didn't get nothing in return. I'm, I'm done doing that. So what's going on in the next 48 for cancer? The Knight of Cups. So who you lying to? You want love and you trying to give it? Okay, but you may not have too much to give right now, Cancer. With this Five of Pentacles, you might not, or they may not have that much to give. You got the Two of Cups, so who you in love with? You could be on the outs with someone. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon, so maybe like you and your partner are separated, but you still love them. You still want to reach out to them. With the Ten of Cups, you can have kids with them. They make you happy, but it's over. With the death card, you're trying to 
come to terms with it and say, okay, that's fine. Okay, or you could be trying to heal it with the the Sagittarius Temperance card. So you got the Ten of Cups, Death card represents Scorpio, Temperance card represents Sagittarius, and the Tower. Done, done. <sighs> but you can't stop thinking about it. You can't stop going back to those messages. You can't stop going back to those pictures. You can't stop going to that social media. You can't stop going back to your call log. Okay, you keep, what you're seeing is hurting you. I don't know what it is that you're seeing. Someone is showing you something and it's hurting you. You could have saw something, found out something, and you wish you didn't. Okay? You see that it's over? You finally see that it's over, that it's ended? This shit pissing me off, boy. Okay. You want to make it work or they want to make it work with this Knight of Cups. You have a lot of love to give. Someone tried to extend an offer, but with the Five of Pentacles, it got rejected. Okay, maybe you tried again with the Two of Cups. You tried to give an offer, but it got rejected. The reason why you gave an offer is because you're still in love with them. Don't tell me you're not the Queen of Cups is right here, your card. Okay, if not, they tried to give you an offer. You rejected it. They're trying to come back with you. You you guys are family. You guys been together for a long time. Y'all can have kids together or live together. But it's over with with the death card. And you're trying to come to terms with that, with the temperance card. But I just, I get the sense that things are still coming out about this. There's some things that are still being shared to light. So just expect some more information for the next 48. If If not someone probably wants to tell you this but they won't so you probably are getting the feeling that you're going to find out more within the next 48 you got the five of pentacles and the five of swords so let your friends help you just let your friends help you what else is going on for Cancer? The Prince of Swords, the King of Swords, and then the Six of Wands. So there's the air sign who's watching you, an air sign who's going to communicate with you. So maybe you might be getting some good news from your dad or your brother or a masculine, some good news from work that gives you some happiness, some instant gratification that helps take your mind off of, you know, or maybe it's some hope for you guys with the Gemini card the Gemini card with the magician card I see the communication progressing because we go from the prince of swords to the king of swords but the, the king of swords is still a little mean and grouchy this could be you yeah six of swords so there is some progress forward there's some movement forward communication forward expect communication I don't know who it's from but it's going to make you feel good with the six of wands a victory so we have six, six, six of wands, six of swords. Okay, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sag, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. You can be dealing with anybody. Everybody came out. So what do people want from you? What do you want from people? Okay, what do people like that you do? What do you like that people do? Her song is on. It says, focus on me. Can you focus on me? Okay. That's not what she looked like. I don't give a fuck. That's not what she looked like. Like, I don't... Okay, I just have to say it. So, the, I'm just getting... Like, the next time you see somebody, they look completely different. Like, or maybe you see an old photo of somebody and you're like, that's not what the fuck they look like. Okay, they want you to be face down, ass up. You want somebody to be face down, ass up. I want to be yours. Someone wants to be yours. You want someone to be yours. Candy kisses. You have candy kisses. They have candy kisses. Massages and back rubs. You give the greatest massages and back rubs. You want a great massage or back rub. Somebody got a ticket speeding to you. You got a, You could have got a ticket speeding to them. Okay. It say you fuck me better than them. They fuck you better than them. 
you fuck them better than whoever. Eat it like Kevin Gates. You eat it like Kevin Gates like a monster. They eat it like Kevin Gates like a monster, okay? This is what you want. This is what you want. Don't tell me, okay? Don't tell me it's not true, okay? I ghost you because your sex makes me crazy. Yeah, that, yeah, that shit crazy than a bitch. I obsessed over you. Pulled my hair. Virgo got all these same cards. You are so tempting. You tempt someone, you pull their hair. You're obsessed. They tempt you. You pull their hair. They obsessed. You ghost them because they sex makes you crazy. They ghost you because your sex makes them crazy. Somebody got a ticket speeding to you. Capricorn. Someone's a Capricorn. You can have Capricorn in your chart. Someone is a playboy or playgirl. You're a playboy or playgirl. All right. Oh, cancer, cancer. Cancer. Mm-hmm. Okay, all right, I'm done with y'all ass. I'm gonna pull an um, affirmation for all three of you water signs, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio for the next 48 or just some messages to take on your way, all right? Give me a message for the water signs, please. Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio, ancestors and guides. gratitude today i'm grateful for all the little things so be grateful give me a message for the water signs connection okay connection it says i'm connected to the multitudes i can access their support at any time even a stranger offers a sense of comfort when they smile at me or make a dumb comment about the weather Everyone is waiting to connect. All I need to do is open myself up and pay attention. Note to self, work on witty banter about weather-related stuff. <laughs> okay, connection. So, ask for help from others came out in almost all of y'all readings. Don't forget to slay your dragons. Like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment. I love y'all. Y'all be safe. Do some praying and meditating. Bye-bye.